Hello, welcome back to Firepower uh, Threat Defense training video series. I'm Nanda. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install FTD on Firepower 2100 series platform. As you all know, Firepower 2100 series platform supports both uh, Firepower Threat Defense or the ASA. This uh, installing of ASA or Firepower uh, Threat Defense on uh, 2100 series platform is a bit different from installing on the next gen firewall which is Firepower 4100 and 9300. So I thought it's going to be useful for you uh, to show you how to install uh, either ASA or FTD on 2100 series platform. This video I'm going to talk, uh, talk about how to install FTD on, on this platform. The pre-request is uh, this box should have FXOS already in the running on, running on it. If uh, if the FXOS is corrupt uh, for any reason, I'm going to have a, um, another video which will show how to install um, FTD or ASA even from the uh, ROM on prompt. Let's go. So uh, these are the steps that would uh, be involved first. From the FXOS, make sure that you have a management IP address on the box. Um, if not, I'm going to show you how to configure. And then once you configure the management IP address, um, verify that from FXOS you are able to reach uh, the uh, FTP or the file uh, server. Once uh, reachability is been checked, then uh, next step is to upload the FTP image to the uh, platform. Once the image is loaded. Uh, then uh, the last step is to install the FTD and then once the FTD is installed uh, that you go you can do the rest of the configuration on the FTD to register the box to the FMC. So in order to install uh, uh, or configure the management AP address on the uh, FXOS uh, you log uh, using the console cable log into the uh, box uh, from the FXOS prompt uh, if you already have the management IP address, you can skip the first three steps and then uh, verify uh, verify the reachability of uh, the file server by pinging the file server IP address. If it does not have the management IP address, you can use this first step where uh, go to the uh, fabric interconnected using scope fabric inter uh, interconnect A and then set the IP address with this uh, command and then uh, once IP address is configured then uh, use the commit buffer uh, to apply the uh, configuration to the FXOS and then uh, you can verify uh, using show management IP address to see if the IP address has been configured on the management interface and then check the uh, reachability of the FTP. Once uh, reachability is checked next step is to upload. Uh, to upload you have uh, scope uh, firmware once you go into the firmware you can uh, download the image um, using that download image com uh, command you have a download image uh, FTP uh, we have other protocols um, such as FTP, SAP, um, secure FTP, TFTP and uh, through USB so in my case I'm going to use FTP and then once you download the image uh, you can verify that whether the download is going on or it's completed using show download task detail command. Once the image is downloaded, you can use scope auto install and then after that um, install service pack version followed by the version number that, um, that you intend to install. In this video, I'm going to use uh, FTD 6.2.2. Uh, so I'll be having the version number 6.2.2. I'm logging into the uh, FTD using console. So this box, uh, you since I've used console, it directly took me to the FXOS. Uh, this box already have AC installed, so which I can verify using connect AC. So um, I can see you can see that um, uh, I have a AC here. Um, so I'm going to reimage this box um, in, from AC to FTD. 
So all I have to do is go back to the FXOS prompt and then uh, from here I want to um, make sure that configure the management IP address. Um, I'm going to skip that command. I mean, I'm going to skip that uh, uh, process of configuring the management IP address. Uh, I have already shown you how to configure the IP address um, from FXOS. Um, this box already have a management IP address, so I'm going to straight away uh, verify and uh, verify uh, reachability and quickly download the image. Yeah. I'm able to reach the box. Um, go to scope firmware and then download image. So, download us. Um, I've triggered the download using FTP. So, I can verify the download using download task. Um, you could see that now um, the file has, uh, status is downloaded. Um, next is to start the installation. Package. If you show package, it's going to give you the uh, number. This is the image that I'm going to install. I'm going to copy this and then uh, go to scope auto install and then use the command install image. Security package version and then followed by the uh, package number that you intend to install. So it's going to give you some warning saying that um, uh, the current uh, FXOS and the AEC version that is running, and then it is going to say that it is going to upgrade it to uh, the FXOS 2.2.2.52, uh, and then it's going to install um, FTD uh, FTD 6.2.2.2. The previous version has been uh, shown here. So I'm going to say yes and uh, again say yes uh, for the warning that it gives. Uh, after installation it's going to reboot and then come back uh, with FTD image once that uh, later we can install um, or configure uh, the other parameters on the FT newly installed FTD to resist the box to FMC. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I'm going to have uh, two more video. One is uh, to install uh, F AAC on this platform, and the other one is to either install AC or FTD uh, on 2100 series platform from Romon. Uh, that is when uh, the FXO is corrupted. How do you how do you install the security up, um, appliance from Romon? I hope this video is uh, informative to you. Uh, hope you do hope you hope to see you soon and in the next video bye bye